Mass filming, mass filming. How many videos can I get in one pot of tea? That is the real question we were asking here. And why sometimes it's best to really keep your own signs to yourself. So I wonder if anyone else has had this experience. Because I, at the start of my craft, and very specifically at the, I don't want to say start, start, but like eh, a year or so into it, I found out that it wasn't going to be a deity or two. It was going to be three. And the crocodile kept appearing to me. And it was significant to me, the symbol of the crocodile, because it was not something that I saw in the regular, it was not a thing I naturally sought out, and it was not a thing that anyone else knew to show to me. And therefore, it was a very significant spiritual symbol. To see it, to have any sort of interactions with one when you live in Arizona, there's no crocodiles there. Like, these things become very significant because of their rarity and because if they're going to pop up, I know that they mean something, that something is shifting, is good. And recently, a lovely excursion with one of my friends out to an out, uh, pumpkin patch. We did a little apple picking for some outdoor safe activities. There's also this cafe that we walked up to and got some to-go food from. Outside of the cafe, and my friend goes, oh, hey, look, a crocodile. And I went, huh? <laughs> Looks down and sees the statue and gets very excited and takes a little picture. This is what I saw. Now, it was interesting to me how my excitement was very clear to my friend. This is a friend who knows I'm a witch, but doesn't, she didn't ask a lot of questions. I started to kind of describe to her what they meant. She's like, oh, so like you seeing them is like lucky. And I'm like, ish. And it was interesting the feeling I had after I kind of described to her the reason why crocodiles were significant to me. And it's something that has popped up and percolated into my head about maybe why we should keep our signs specifically, the things that really matter to us, mum, to anyone else around us. Because for me, I had not realized how often I had attributed the fact that to see a crocodile is very rare and that rarity was part of its significance to me. Many times I don't need a sign or a symbol to be a rare thing in my life. I mean, we surround ourselves with symbols. Like, it's not a rare thing for me to see a pentacle. I'll wear them all the time. And I'm constantly seeking them out. Uh, I have them in my house. Like, the significance of the pentacle is not downgraded by its appearance in my life. You know what I mean? But the crocodile specifically, I think it's because it, it, if I see one, I'm, I'm relaying it as a message. So therefore the rarity is important. And I've told my loved ones about this sign because they don't point out or gift me or pull my attention to crocodile things a lot. At least they didn't in the beginning. But I'm starting to wonder if I'm, if maybe I'm overexposed to the crocodile now. Because it's an element to me of listen to your instincts in the moment and a sign of it's good to keep going in a lot of ways too. I'll, I'll ask a lot of times where I'm like, oh, fuck, like, I just, I just need one, one signal. Like, give me something to like show me that I am on the right track with what I'm currently doing. And as I've said before on this channel, I've gotten that symbol on bad dates. Uh, I have seen that symbol when I have been extremely frustrated and I was like, oh, so I just, I don't get the, t I don't get to relax. I would like to know if I could relax and like not have to work on something right now. Can I just have a moment to relax? And then a crocodile would appear. Specifically at the moment I'm talking about right now is I was on vacation with my family, not that before all the craziness of 2020. And we were all kind of fighting with each other and I was really hoping for the vacation to be a true like decompression thing. And my sister had gone off somewhere. I was chilling out by the pool that we were at and God, two in my head and I asked for a sign from the universe. And about five minutes later, my sister came back and she walked up to me and she goes, I saw this and I thought of you. And she gives me this teeny tiny little crocodile squishy keychain thing. <laughs> So it was a crocodile presented to me and I just asked for a sign and it was just literally brought to me and I was like, that's hilarious because I, I just asked for something and here it is gifted to me. But the question of asking people now is because in that moment it felt like a sign. It felt like very significant and monumental because what are the chances of her 
finding a crocodile thing where we were was it was very random it didn't make a lot of sense so that the rarity still held with that symbol but now that my immediate family knows about the crocodile and they know that oh if this shows up sam likes them she sees them and she gets a certain something i worry about crocodile appearing gifts or things being presented to me and me seeing them as signs from my deity when really it's just that oh it's become more well known that I like crocodiles you know what I mean it's one of those things where it's like have you ever mentioned to somebody where I'm like I kind of like fish <laughs> like you mention an animal a color something and that one relative like hears it and like you don't even remember mentioning it but now all the gifts involve that you know what I mean Maybe a grandmother always buys you things in a certain color because that one time you told her that you liked the color and you're like, I actually, I actually didn't like it all that much. Just told you a color I liked because you asked. So I didn't realize it was going to have life on consequences for me. I kind of feel like it's like that in a way, only it is significant to me and it is something I thoroughly enjoy and the different versions of it that it appears to me works, but I worry that it has somehow degraded that symbol. I do worry in times like even declaring it here seems a bit weird. It should feel like something maybe I should have held more secret. But also then I go back then to my constant fight of that our world is inherently mundane and that the spiritual's gotta fight its way through. Motorbike. To make itself known and I don't necessarily think that's true. I think we see signs and things that are matter to us. If it rings a little stuff in us, if it gives us a little stuff, a little bit of goosebumps, then that's enough. Our mundane world is magical, is spiritual, and it's not the supernatural or the mystical fighting through to show us the way. It's that the divine, the universe at large, energies will move to make us notice things in any way that it can. Signs matter to us because they're important and personal and significant. I think the universe knows that. And I think when we ask for things and symbols, we get an answer pretty distinctly because it naturally will occur within the mundane. It doesn't need to happen in a shove your face in a manner, if that makes sense. And by this I mean that it's like, I don't need to see a crocodile walking down the streets of Portland, Oregon to get the hint. You know what I mean? Like, for me, the crocodile could appear in, someone just posts about it randomly on Instagram. Maybe I get gifted one like a keychain from my sister. Maybe it's just that when I'm talking about something, I suddenly ask for a sign, I walk past a screen that is playing something with National Geographic on it and there's a crocodile hat like you know what I mean like it doesn't necessarily have to be like holy fucking shit for me to take notice of it signs and symbols can appear in multiple ways in the divine and just because other people are taking notice of your signs doesn't necessarily devalue them and degrade them unless I believe that they do then does that in my belief for the degradation naturally degrade them anyway. I know, it's something I'm kind of mulling over and I don't really know how to feel about it because to this day still, to see our crocodile to, in any way, on a tattoo, on a, in any way that it appears, and in the many ways I've listed in this video, it still feels significant to me, but I do constantly worry about this over knowledge that it is spiritually significant to me and then people just presenting them with me to the point where if they became such a regular thing then maybe i would believe it's not a sign anymore and i'd have to go seek out a new sign and then it makes me feel sad a little bit inside and but maybe that hasn't been the case i think the universe would adapt i would find another sign another symbol something else that would you know give me the jolt and whatever else if it does get degraded enough within my mind but you know, it doesn't actually have to be a good or a bad thing. I don't know. Comment down below. Do you feel that you have certain spiritual symbols like that that you keep very close to your chest as part of the reasons why the secrecy thing? When I was doing the secrecy versus announcements in our craft, and maybe this is one of those things where no, we keep our personal signs from the universe very close to the chest for this reason because we don't want this 
overproduction of them to degrade their meaning. Vroom vroom. Or is it something where like it for you you're like it doesn't matter because if it's a sign, if it's a symbol, like the universe knows that and it's naturally just not going to produce them as much if it is of something of spiritual significance to you. Maybe the universe is smarter than me just worrying about people constantly showing me crocodiles. Anyway, that was today's video and it's YouTuber, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.